So for us, uh, the United States or Canada, uh, for that matter, or the rest of the world, which was not part of the socialist world, which was the world that was captured by the, just held hostage by the Soviet Union after World War II, uh, that world was all kind of homogeneous. It was all kind of America. The difference between England, France, Germany, America, or but Switzerland also, you know, just any kind of, any capitalist country. The distinctions were, I, I'm sure for people who live in those countries, was huge, but for us, it didn't make any difference. It was just a difference, the, 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 the other part of the world, which we were never going to see. Mm. So for us, it was all, oh, oh, want of a, you know, or a more specific word, America, because that was, you know. Did you learn things in school, though, about being allied with these countries in the wars? No, that it was not. It was not. Um, uh, I, I would imagine that the absolute majority of Soviet people in my generation would grow up thinking that we, Soviet Union, won the war single-handedly, and that at some point, and that Americans and the British were just sitting on the sidelines waiting to see who would basically finish each other first. Uh, finished each other off first, Hitler or Stalin, and only when they realized that Stalin, Soviet Union, could not be defeated, only then they threw their weight behind the prospective victor, and then they started supporting us, but mainly by sending us canned meat, basically. That was, that was uh, uh, or, or sending their soldiers to less, less important, like theater of war, like Africa, you know, just those kinds of things. So, no, nobody knew anything about the invasion of Normandy or just nobody knew any of that. And uh, um, at some point later on in the severely abridged form, books that were very critical, American uh, novels, highly critical of, uh, of, uh, of the United States generally, like Catch-22, which was mainly built as an anti-war and how, you know, how minor American participation in the war was. They were just flying and bombing something in Italy for whatever reason, you know? Mm -hmm. So Italy, why, what has Italy have to do with it when we, we, the Soviet Union, lost 27 millions of our people in that war? Of course, Soviet Union lost that many people in the war because Stalin made a deliberate decision to essentially to throw as many people just to just just to bury the, the Nazi war machine under the piles of Soviet corpses, essentially. Mm -hmm. This famous Stalin um, saying that uh, he was fond of repeating that uh, Russian women will give birth to me to more. So, um, so that was the you know that's why the Soviet Union ended up with uh, this humongous number of uh, of the dead. Mm 